Hi Leute, willkommen zurück zu Killer Frequency. Letztes Mal haben wir einen Anruf erhalten von einer geheimen Person, von der uns Peggy nichts erzählen wollte. Den sollen wir privat annehmen. Und das mache ich jetzt mal. Ich bin schon sehr gespannt. The lines lit up. I need to take the call. Hello? Forrest, I'm glad I got back through to you. Leslie. Sounds like it's been a busy night, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 Hi. operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Is wach, Wait, Sarah? Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. Uh, anyway, we got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Sehr gut. It's been non-stop since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad towards Gallows Creek as we speak. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. That's great news! That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he... how she... how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're coming in hot, but we need your help. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town, but if we don't know where the Whistling Man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. Aha. Aber wie denn? You can count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot, but here goes. The Whistling Man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. And while you're talking to her, try to figure out where she is. We'll be listening in, so once her location is known, we'll head straight there and end this nightmare. Okay. I'll do my best. I know you will. Heck, I can see the headlines now. Forrest Nash's interview of a lifetime. Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Take care now. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Oh, thank God. It sounds like this is almost over. We're nearly through this. Best we don't waste any time then. Let's get back on air. You got it. Time to turn the music off. Bringing you back live. Now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say, things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hello, Forrest. This is John Hedges. I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. John! Is, is he going to be okay? Very good. He's a fighter. He'll be fine. Yeah. We've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then... God, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. Of course, Casey. We're just happy he's okay. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us, whenever he's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? Jason lebt, Jason Parker überlebt den Pfeiffer. Sehr gut. Jason, we meet at last. It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know, I've got a hole in my stomach and there's a knife in my leg, but John gave me something to take the edge off. So, I might feel even better than either of you. <laughs> oh. Take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But, uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. I'm guessing the whistling man is still out there? Uh. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. We spoke to Roller Ricky not long after you were attacked. You spoke to Ricky? Was he... Is 
he all right? He is now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Mm, sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, where was I? Ah. Omish. Yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's finally coming out now. It's been tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail. Okay, muss der deswegen beinahe so, sterben? And then the town just moved on. Like he never existed. Ich sag ja, irgendjemand will ihn rächen. Who killed George that night? Some of the guys on the football team had an idea for a way we could haze the newcomers. We decided to plan a party in the woods and have the whistling man crash it. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. At the party that night, I left the group for a second, met our whistling man tended to get stabbed in front of everyone started an almighty panic those screams that was the last time i saw or heard george alive oh, how did george man. die jason i don't know i was playing dead but when i heard her scream ricky mentioned a girl named bean is that who you mean bean Yes, George did call her that. Yeah. He called her Bean. I heard her again tonight. Where is this? <laughs> her name was What? What happened? Are Leute, ich krieg Gänsehaut. Es ist Marie. Es ist Marie. Oh, ich hab voll die ganze Pelle. How do we get it back on? I don't uh Oh, we can use the emergency generator down in the basement. Ricky picked it up a while ago in case we ever needed to do an emergency broadcast. Alter. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a serial killer's location to the cops so we can end this nightmare? Alter. Fair point! It's in the storage area in the far back corner up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier when you were digging around for all those tapes. It'll have a big red button. Just press that. Oh. Oh, ich hab so Gänsehaut. Immer noch. Alter. Der Killer ist hier. Und es ist Marie. Ich hab's gewusst. Es ist Marie Campbell. Sie will ihren Freund rächen. Sie will George rächen. Und hat deswegen alle getötet, die damit zu tun hatten. Oder war es versucht zumindest. Ha! Wir haben es ja verhindert zum Großteil. Aber warum die Teenager? Nur weil sie auch so einen Streich spielen wollten mit dem Whistler, haben die deswegen alle den Tod verdient? Ich glaub's ja nicht. Bin ich hier richtig? Der Lagerbereich? Nee. Wo waren das jetzt? Was hier? Nee, das ist ja vom Hausmeister. Alter Schwede, ey. Da bin ich jetzt dumm. Großer roter Knopf im Lagerbereich. Ja, was auch. Sag mal. Wo war dieses Lager nochmal? Das war doch hier. Far back corner. Why is this station so big? Warum ist hier so dunkel, Alter? Ohne Scheiß, der Killer ist hier, ich sag's euch. Da ist es. That must be it. 
Boom. We've got power. Es wird Licht. Stell die Stromversorgung beim Sender wieder her. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. Oh nein, wo ist... Wo ist die Whistling Woman? <lacht> Marie! Alter. Die Sau. Warum hat sie uns jetzt eingesperrt? Macht überhaupt keinen Sinn. Was Peggy? Oh no. Es ist nicht. Es kann nicht Peggy sein. Das geht ja gar nicht. Aber warum ist sie weg? Warum ist Peggy weg? Das gibt es zum Geburtstag, Schwester Herz. Ah, es ist nicht dein Ernst. Es ist nicht dein Ernst. Alles Liebe, alles Gute zum Geburtstag, Peck. Jetzt bist du auch. Jetzt bist du acht und eine Pracht. Hab dich lieb, M. Alter, ich hab. Boah, hab ich Gänsepelle. Es ist nicht ihre Schwester, oder? Marie. Marie Campbell ist nicht. Peggy Weaver, Schwe Weaver heißt sie, ne? Peggy! Where'd you go? Oh! No way. Was zur Hölle? Warum hat sie uns eingesperrt? Ich über meinen Tisch, das habe ich alles schön sortiert. A, a call. Where's Peggy, Don? Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show, but it's not over just yet. Got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Huh? I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, let me take that. Out of your mouth and you crazy bitch! Let me go. Was das ist Teddy? Mr. Teddy Gallagher. Wer ist das jetzt hier? Wait. It's all gonna come out tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. But even if you crawl out of his coffin with all the. Es sind Peggy und und Marie, oder? Die beiden sind's. Ohne Scheiß. Aber wie hat Peggy die ganze Zeit gegen uns gearbeitet? Er hat es doch geholfen. Vielleicht sollten. Vielleicht war das ja der Plan, dass wir versuchen, die Leute zu retten, aber wenn wir scheitern, dann bringt sie sie halt alle um. Oder Peggy wollte halt nicht, dass alle sterben, sondern nur. Ja, nur der Schuldige eben jetzt. Ja. Ja, so und aber okay, zum Glück ist es nicht Peggy übrigens. Henry? Your son? You mean you... Wait, that, that he... Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Of course. That explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And that's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. Alter. Don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. And Murphy, he, he was right, wasn't he? He did fight a man. He did. 
I taught my boy to never run away from a fight. Hang on. Did you say... Barrel? Then... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. Damn uncomfortable thing. No wonder Mooney went crazy wearing this. There we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh. Well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. Oh, Gänsehaut. Es ist so gut. Es ist so gut geschrieben und alles. Hat die Klappe, Teddy. <lacht> Marie Campbell. So, not Don, huh? No. Not Don. What are you going to... Hau ihn. <lacht> Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He killed George that night. This night. 20 years ago. Ich muss gerade nochmal sagen, natürlich ist es scheiße, was sie macht. Aber das erklärt es jetzt halt, weil sie schwanger war. Das war, ihr, das war der Vater ihres Kindes. Wahrscheinlich war sie nicht nur, was nicht ein Freund. Einfach nur, die wollten bestimmt auch mal eine Familie heiraten und alles. Na klar hat sie das sehr verletzt. Ich finde es immer noch überzogen. Sehr überzogen, dass die Leute dafür umbringt. Aber ich wollte nur sagen, es ist jetzt halt nachvollziehbarer. Ist einfach so. Wenn der Vater deines Kindes stirbt, dann hast du halt nicht einfach mal so jetzt einen Freund verloren, ne? Wollte ich nur sagen, so. Listen to me. You... Ah! You're gonna talk when I talk Slap. to you. And not a moment before. Meanwhile, Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Okay, Marie. I'll do it. Good. Then let's talk about the night George was murdered. Murdered? Oh, listen, oh. I... I said you speak when you're spoken to. Now, I know you've done some good work tonight in piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. If you say so, I'm not really in a position to argue. I'm happy we have your cooperation. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only one to leave here alive. <laughs> What's with Peggy? I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek. Oh. And if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll start with you. Just, uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago. Ja, und? Black and Marie. Do you want to die, Teddy? Because if you don't start talking. <coughs> what the hell? <laughs> Schlag ihn. <laughs> okay. Our first team party was coming up. When I saw the date it was scheduled for, That's the team I had party. an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it up. I was just surprised no one had ever thought to do it before. Wait. You mean this was the first whistling night? I... Uh... Keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God, who was there? Me, Jason, and George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. Runner Ricky. Our wide receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know. Because I'm a decent man. Is that so? Yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So, I helped him keep himself together. Yeah. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? Keep talking. 
About midway through the night, we put the prank into action. We looked up at the trees and saw Jason there, bloody, like he'd just been stabbed. And the whistling man, everyone screaming. George and I and Ricky, we got left behind. But Ricky was in on it too. I know he was. He and Teddy were as close as anybody. Uh. Teddy must have told him the plan. No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? I spoke to him earlier. He had no idea what was happening. He said he was as terrified as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given everything away. But he... well... It doesn't matter. He didn't run his mouth enough to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. Oh, sie ist so verblendet, ne? How can you still say it was just a prank? Oh, come on! I... God damn it! Ow! Das war saftig. And so tonight you stab him for real? It's the role he wanted to play. Jason's still alive, Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding and got him professional help just in time. Oh. Well, shame he didn't have the good sense to die earlier. He's gonna regret that. Enough about him. George took off running, but somehow we got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point, and when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the Whistling Man grabs me, I scream, and he starts laughing, telling me it's, it's just a joke. I can stall for time here. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I felt small and confused. And Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck broke. Oh, Chuck. Laughing away. But then he stops. And he's looking up at the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Teddy, what happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy! George fell off Whistling Point. How do you know what happened? I saw it. You pushed him. You were up there. Alter. Just as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him. God damn it! I just chased him up there, and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar! It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. What? It's not If my. If he had any brains, he would have realized. <laughs> you bitch. No one's going to believe this. After all you did. Sie hat ja schon den Sheriff getötet. Hätte ich alle anderen gerettet, selbst das wäre halt schon genug, um in den Knast zu kommen. Aber ich glaube, erst ab drei Morden gibt es die Todesstrafe, oder? Und es sind ja zwei gestorben. Bisher, glaube ich. If she's lying, why the cover up? My future. Was at stake, Nash. You know what it's like. People like us are bragged for bigger things. Schlag ihn, Marie. Schlag ihn. <laughs> this town, Forrest. And then Governor. And then, who knows? Yeah. What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke. Gone wrong. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. Why should a blip ruin my future? George was 
Also, Brit? Boah. That's an evil thing to say, Teddy. That's the way it is. My father agreed with me. Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance studio? It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. I'd answer the question if I were you, Teddy. Yes, okay. We own most of the town. Alter. Your father was going to run her out of business. Das ist so ein der typ. She lied and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The false reports. That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... Even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. I tried everything I could think of. I even went to the newspaper, but no. That coward killed the story. <sighs> we'll take care of Maurice Russell later. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. You've got no idea. It never should have started. I shouldn't have pushed my door off a cliff. I should have been punished. But it's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here, where George and I first met, before he joined the football team, it was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Ach scheiße, wo waren das? Die Turnhalle, Footballplatz oder Rollschuhbahn? Rollschuhbahn? Ah oh nein! You're at the roller rink. Jesus Christ! Forrest, you idiot! <laughs> We're in the gym at Gallows Creek High! I told you not to do that. Wait! <gasps> Oops, ich hab Teddy getötet! He's dead too now, isn't he? He is. Anyway, I think that about wraps up the interview with Teddy. So... Marie? Where? Oh my god. Peggy! Teddy! Peggy, it's been so long since I've seen your face. I worried you wouldn't come. And here I was, thinking you'd forgot me. I'd never forget my own sister. Sister? Peggy, what, what's happening? Ich wusste es schon durch die Karte. Wanna explain, oh. Peggy? Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Well, it was from Dawn. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. That I should come to the gym for a reunion. And when you walked in, you found out that my sister is the whistling man. Good to see you too, Peggy. Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just. I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you, Marie? You just disappeared one day. Disappeared? I was thrown out, Peggy. I begged Mom and Dad to do something about what happened that night. But did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George. Hat's ihre Eltern getötet? 
Peggy sagt ja, sie ist weise. Oder? Wait. Is that why you went after that kid in the maze maze? Uh, Eugene Stein? Because his parents? That's right. Eugene's parents were there that night too. But they got themselves killed in a bus accident. And since only their child was left. Murray, please. Alter. Mom and dad are gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Was ist los mit ihr? Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. What does it say then? Happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love M. I Well, I Anderson police! Free! Die Saga oder eine Saga zweier Schwestern Peggy Weaver überlebt den Pfeifer. Ja, hätte Teddy jetzt überlebt, wäre auch nicht schlimm gewesen. <lacht> er wäre halt in den Knast gekommen, aber dass er tot ist, macht mich nicht traurig. I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted äh. right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. Boah. Ey, dass sie Eugene töten wollte, nur weil er das Kind ist. Es war eine lange Nacht, aber wir haben es zusammen gemacht. Ich werde auf die Reise gehen, um Peggy zu checken. Das ist Ben. Das ist Ben. Ich glaube, es war besser. Zombie Stomps Leap, Smile Frog. Der Mann, der Mythos der Schrei. Forrest Nash überlebt den Pfeifer. Das Ende. Reiche das Ende der Pfeifnacht. Oh, wie gut. Also ein bisschen laut, ne? Warte mal, ich mach's mal kurz leiser. So. Ein bisschen zu laut gewesen. Öffne die Tür um den Epilog. Oh, ich muss leider die Musik muten. Es tut mir sehr leid. Geht leider nicht anders, sonst habe ich wieder ein Problem mit YouTube. Immer noch. Immer noch. Was ist los mit euch? So. Öffne die Tür, ob den Epilog und die mitwirkt und sie überspringen. Ich muss doch wieder laut machen, sonst hört man nichts. Oh nein, Tammy und Ted, Teddy Gellows sind gestorben. Jennifer, Scott, Cynthia. Oh, Peggy und Forrest. Voll nett. Das ist Murphy. <lacht> oh, Dave. <lacht> Chad. Heather, Jason. Oh, das ist. Das ist sogar das Lied zum Spiel. Voll gut. Jason, Virginia, Sandra, Maurice, Eugene. Roller, Ricky, Kyle. Lisa, Seth, Chuck und Martinez. Voll geil das Spiel, Leute. Ich hab's so gefeiert die ganze Zeit. Richtig gut. Richtig gut war's. Ich 
the frequency. Ah, der Schimmel. Bin mal gespannt, ob da was kommt jetzt. Ich verstehe trotzdem nicht, warum Tammy sterben musste. Voll dämlich. Oh nein, Marie, nicht springen jetzt, oder? Ich finde es ein bisschen scheiße, dass sie ihren Sohn damit reingezogen hat. Arme Tammy. Aber warum hat sie Dings verschont hier? Was? Nee, wie hieß sie denn? Ah, ich will das, ich will das... Echt schade, wie gesagt, ne? Aber ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass sie so aussehen. Vor allem hatte Peggy noch so einen Afro. Ich habe echt gedacht, sie wäre schwarz, ehrlich gesagt. Aber gut. Wie haben die sich das auch vorgestellt? Die waren im Radio und dachten, sie kommen damit weg. Oh nein. Das ist aber auf jeden Fall mal ein Ding, sowas passiert bestimmt nicht oft in so einer kleinen Stadt. Ich wette, es hätte ein Achievement gegeben, hätte ich sie alle gerettet. Und ich wette, es hätte ein Achievement gegeben, hätte ich sie alle sterben lassen. Das ist doch geil, wenn man einfach alle verrecken lässt. <lacht> die ganze Stadt. Naja, wird sich wird sich's rentieren? Ich weiß noch nicht, wie die Views sind, aber nee, ich glaube, das... Wird sich nicht lohnen, einen Spieldurchlauf zu machen, wo alle sterben. Wird wahrscheinlich keiner mehr gucken. Da wird es aber ziemlich schnell gehen, weil dann muss man die ganzen... Also, da muss man die ganzen Sachen ja gar nicht mehr machen, oder? So, war es das? Ja, ich glaube, das war's, Leute. Ja, das war's, Leute. Das war's mit Killer Frequency. Ich hatte eine gute Zeit, gute 5 Stunden und ich hoffe, ihr auch. Ja, 10 Parts, ne? Schön. Ja, schreibt mir gerne in die Kommentare, was ihr so denkt. Wie hat es euch gefallen? Wünscht ihr euch mehr von solchen Spielen? Also ich definitiv. Ich hatte richtig, richtig viel Laune. Aber ich sag ja, es sind so kleine Spiele, die kommen irgendwie nur alle paar Jahre raus. Sagen wir jetzt Firewatch. Ähm, jetzt hier Killer Frequency. Was war noch? Äh, ich habe es im Spiel schon erwähnt, was ich da auch mal hatte mit... Ach Gott, ich habe es vergessen. Aber es sind einfach so kleine Sachen mit coolen Dialogen, mit coolen Charakteren, mit tollen Stimmen vor allen Dingen und einer coolen Geschichte dazu. Mehr brauchst gar nicht. Und ihr habt ja gesehen, es war eigentlich recht immer dieselben Räume so ein bisschen, aber es hat sich echt lange gut gemacht, das Spiel. Und genau zum richtigen Zeitpunkt aufgehört. Auf jeden Fall bin ich der Bruger, wie immer. Ich danke euch sehr fürs Zusehen, für die Unterstützung, dass ihr mich da immer schön äh, kommentiert und geliked habt auf dem Video. <lacht> denke ich zumindest. Der erste Part ist nicht mal hochgeladen. Aber ja, ich werde jetzt noch bei meinen Eltern sein, komme bald wieder zurück mit meiner kleinen... Und dann geht es auch bald schon mit was anderem weiter. Auf jeden Fall, haut rein und schwitzt nicht so viel. Oh, heute gehe ich gerade ein bisschen kaputt. Tschüss.